It was the middle of June. With summer well underway, a rainy spell seemed to hang over Trista. With our field study wrapped up, the other members of Class 7 and I returned to normal school life. But just when we thought we'd gotten used to the challenging lessons and the breakneck workload, a moment of dread washed over us, making our blood run cold. As you all know, tomorrow marks the start of your midterm exams. I'm no good with all these papers and essays and circling answers, so I won't really be able to help you much. But I'm administering some of your tests, so I'll be cheering you on from the sidelines. Make me proud, class! Sometimes I lie awake at night and wonder how you became our teacher. As I recall, aren't you in danger of a lecture by the vice principal if our performance isn't up to par? Oh, I'm not too worried about that. Most of you tend to get pretty high grades anyway. I can hardly wait to see how well you all do. Remember, the results will be announced next Wednesday. Your scores will be posted on the board by rank, so you can see how you compare to the other classes in your year. Oh, the sooner this week is over, the better. I can almost taste the tedium. I'm not gonna let Emma squeak by me again this time. <laughs> oh, one more thing. They're gonna stick the average score for each class up there on the board, too. Our class averages? I suppose their intent is to furnish us with motivation in the form of class bragging rights. Well, I do enjoy a challenge. Anyway, I know it's only noonish, but I think that's enough homeroom for today. You guys can stay here and study, or just head on back to your dorms. Up to you, Prez, if you'll do the honors. Yes, instructor. Stand, bow. The day before the exams is a free day. Taking, talking to certain characters will allow you to study with them. When you run out of bonding points, the time of day will change to evening and the main story will advance. Which means, don't hang out with everybody. Welcome back to The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. Last time we uh, had Albert Wesker help us out in a dark and dungy dungeon. <laughs> I meant ding, dingy, but words don't really come out of my mouth that well. So, this entire section is pretty much just going to be studying. Hi, Friedel. That and talking to people once more. Hey, Monica, come here. What's the matter? Oh, come on, Monica, tell me. I'm your friend, I guess. I don't fucking know. Um, so the first place that we have to go to is the library. We can talk to Thomas. Get some information there. This is all pretty much to... There he is up there. 
to help us out with the exams proper. <laughs> Increase your knowledge of Erebonian history. So, like Persona 4, we have these midterms. This is is actually the only instance in the game of having a midterm. Um, but you do studying in this like you would an actual student instead of just like taking a night off and studying in Persona 4 not really getting much out of it or just listening to lectures. Like you listen to lectures in this game and they, I think, one of the couple of the questions do show up. But you have to put in the effort. So we have these two here. I don't. The next place is here as well, on the second floor. Political economics over here. Cool thing is they show up with those little gleams. A book entitled Political Economics: A Primer sits primely on the shelf. And you increased your knowledge. What's up, Paula? <laughs> Hello, cat. Give her the milk. So if you bought milk from the store in the last chapter before it ended, you can give it to the black cat, obviously. And you can only... <laughs> She's still mad. I don't know if that was a snark of happiness or anger. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell with that black cat. And you can't go out and buy shit right now, anyway. So the next place is the gymnasium. I'm gonna look for a book. Uh, it should be over here. A book entitled Military Science, A Primer, sits upon the bench like a courageous commander. <laughs> Next place is Becky at the school entrance. Where we can learn about the memorization method. Where are you at, Becky? There y'all are. Oh, and Hugo. Next off is Instructor Mary in the main building. I could have gone here first, but, you know, when I talked to Monica, but meh, whatever. Mary, talk to me. That was needed. Uh, next off is Makarov for Orbal Sciences. That's West. He's over here. What's up, dude? <laughs> I'm going to go in there anyway, Makarov. Next off is uh, a book on the second floor in the music room. What's up, Ferris? How you doing? <laughs> as common as studying.
<laughs> Alan. You sure you don't want to study with Bridget? Hm. That's weird. Colette. Come here. I need to find Bridget then. She's probably in here, maybe. Yep. Oh, that's not good. Hey, Mint. Uh, but here's the book. The Fancier, Fancier's, I don't know that word, Guide to Erebonian Opera and Paintings, since pompously upon the shelf. Fancier. I don't know. Uh, next is Barrel. On the rooftop. In the rain. I don't know why you're on the rooftop in the rain. Are you up here? Oh, there you are. You didn't pop in for me. Get out of the rain, Barrel. Come on. <laughs> Next off is Lind in the Student Union Building. We get VV too, and it gets a little bit spicy. I love this interaction. <laughs> Especially not with Rex back there. He's probably got his camera primed and ready. And finally, we have Erebonian History in Pictures, and the Literature Club. So that's up here. Ah, eh, I gotta turn around. I also need to buy some stuff. Apparently I don't. Who do we owe? No, 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 no. no, I guess we don't. How are we doing on reviving bombs? 22 of them? 16 of those, 18 of those, we're doing pretty well. Um, I don't think I need to sell anything. Probably those, I don't know. I'll keep them just in case. What do you have? Whole juice and just tomatoes still. Come on, girl. Need some more stuff. That's what I'm doing. I'm cramming like hell, man. Don't berate me. There you are. Fidelio. And Dorothy. Dorothy really likes boys love bullshit. I don't know why. I guess she's kind of a weirdo. But let's get out of here before she corrupts us. I think the book is over here. <laughs> you can learn a lot about history through comic books. Uh, chess club. Let's talk to Stefan. Oh, nice. Good job, Machius. 
And that takes care of all of the studying materials. And now we can do bonding events. I think Toa's, yeah. We can hang out with Toa and Angelica. Wrong buttons, Jesus. Um, even hang out with Crow if we want. Let's go with these two first since we're already here. Oh right, we also have a couple of uh, character profiles I can grab. Financial Transactions Act. Uh, yeah, okay. The Imperial Transportation Act, which I think we learned about. Thanks, Toe and Angie. You're pretty cool. Um, we need to go and get those character profiles. We can go to the art room in the main building for Clara and Teresia, which we didn't talk to. Who we didn't talk to while we were at the library. That's the domestic room. No, I keep forgetting. This is the art room. Clara. I'm fairly sure that did something, right? For some reason, they don't show up. I don't know why. Um... I got Stefan and Dorothy now. Damn. I think I missed Dorothy's first. Did I just completely miss Clara? What the hell? Oh, there she is. Oh, she's done. <laughs> Perfect. Back to the library real quick. Uh, Teresia. No, you're just a female student. Shit. You tricked me. There you are. <laughs> she hel she's helpful to her friend Emily. And I think that's all for them. Alright, let's hang out with people. I don't really want to hang out with Machius and 
Elliot. I don't think they'll give me anything of note. Oh, we can talk to Sarah, too. It's up at the old schoolhouse. hang out with Fee and Emma and then Crow for last I talk to Hibel all right girls how you doing Reen stayed with Emma and Fee for a while longer, making sure they knew their Erebonian history back to front. Yeah, you don't, you don't get a whole lot for this section, unfortunately. That was nice. Oh, and we get George as a bonus. And so Crow passed all his all of his knowledge on to Reen. <laughs> He's a pretty cool guy. I mean, you don't have to go back to the dorms if you don't want to. What? Oh, what's up? I do apologize for stopping you on a rainy day like this. 
Do you know if this is the building in which I might find the principal's office? Oh, yeah. You're in the right place. His own... The receptionist might have gone home already, but I can show you the way if you'd like. <laughs> Thank you for your kindness. But I couldn't possibly trouble you more than I have already. I'll be able to find the way, I'm sure. Well then, if you'll excuse me, Master Reen. Well, how'd you know my name? Excuse me, how did you know my name? Don't bow to me like you know me. Stop doing that. Answer my question, hmm. damn it. Hell you going? Wait a minute. How does she know who I am? Reen? Why do you always show up at the best of times? Uh, hey there, Elisa. Heading back to the dorm? Yep. I'm and the others are staying a little longer to cram a little more. But I figured I'm not going to learn much more today, so I might as well call it a night and start prepping for tomorrow. Right, right. Um, well, you're going my way, so what do you say we head back together? Sure, okay. It's not often the two of us get to walk back to the dorms together, is it? <laughs> well, eh, at least I got something good out of this downpour. Is there even a filter between your brain and your mouth? Nah, no need for that between friends. But you're in good company. My sisters asked me that before, too. <sighs> she must be a saint to have put up with you all these years. <laughs> anyway, how do you think you did on the exams? Who knows? put my best into it. But honestly, I probably could have hit the books a little harder beforehand. <laughs> I wish I was as smart as you. Back when we took the entrance exam, only Emma and Maki have scored higher than you, right? Eustace came in a little higher than me, too. Back home, I usually came in near the top in exams. I guess that goes to show that Erebonia has no shortage of smart people. No doubt about that. Bookworms pour in here from all corners of the Empire. You said you're from Ruhr, right? Coming out on top in a city that size is still pretty impressive. I suppose, though that was just at the Sunday school level. Uh, aren't you curious about, you know, my family and stuff? Not really. You mean the mysterious Alisa R, agent of national intrigue? Well, yeah, of course I am. You probably have good reasons for keeping it under wraps, so I don't want to pry. It's not that major or anything, especially compared to what you and Fee have told us about yourselves. I've never really thought my family circumstances were a big deal. Though Fee's past sure came as a surprise. I wonder now, when I look at her, what her life in a Jaeger Corps must have been like. It seems like Instructor Sarah knows more about her past than we do. Back at the entrance ceremony, I got the impression they'd met before. Same. Speaking of weird meetings, I ran into someone kind of strange earlier. Oh? Yeah, I was talking to her just before you called to me. Rain told Elisa about the woman in the maid uniform. A maid who knew your name? This isn't the part where it turns out she knows you because you've tried to hit on her in town before, is it? I don't know, it's happened too many times. It might be. <laughs> As if an upstanding guy like me could pull off the Casanova act. She seemed a couple years older than us. Maybe... So? A maid in her early 20s. Hmm? Something wrong? No, no, just thinking. There's no way it could really have been her. Mother keeps her far too busy to find the time to come here. You, you're speaking out loud, Elisa. Uh, ahem! Uh, anyway, maybe the uh, upper class dorm has a new hire starting out or something? Though that wouldn't explain how she knew your name. Maybe you're just more popular than you let on. <laughs> <laughs> if only. The next day. The first of four grueling days of midterm. Uh, the first of four grueling days of midterm exams began. 
starting with Thomas. Erebonian history question. The Middle Ages War of the Lions was brought to an end by Emperor Dragals. When did the war end? July 952. Oh, hey, Mary. Art question. Mr. A wants to draw a rough colored watercolor image. Which of the following styles would be most appropriate? That would be sketch. Oh, hi, Nightheart. Military science question. Figure one depicts a military formation. What type of unit is currently advancing? Shit. <laughs> we didn't go over this one. Um... Armored... That was close. I think you talk with, um... Eusis? Or Gaius and... Eli uh, Gaius about it? Yeah. Gaius and Eusis. Orbal Science. The following statements about orbments all purport to be true. Which one is not? Abilities change based on quartz. They synchronize with their user. Allow arts usage without quartz. Orbal energy recovers over time. They allow arts usage without quartz. Vice Principal, why are you here? Political economics of the following laws enacted last year, which came into force first in Heimdall. Thank you, TOA, Imperial Public Transportation Act. And on the final day, we have Crow to thank. Combat studies, emergency CPR is divided into roughly four stages. A, check if the person is breathing. B, check if the person is conscious. C, perform chest compressions and rescue breaths. D, call for help in a loud voice. Put these stages into the correct order. That would be B, D, A, and C. Uh, 